Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas and today's surfboard review is on the Slater Designs Omni by Daniel Thompson and I have it in the LFT Firewire construction. This is gonna be a super fun review. Get your favorite drink, sit back and enjoy the show. Now as we dive into this review, I've got two stock boards. I've got a 5.4 at 26 liters and I've got a 5.3 at 24.9. And I've been talking about my range in PU and EPS. Now, obviously these boards are both EPS and 24.9, I always talk about EPS having a little bit better float for me compared to a PU. So I would say add a half a liter, right? So if this is 24.9 and we add a half a liter to it, that's gonna come in at like 25.4 under my feet. And if the 5.4 comes in at 26, it's gonna float like 26.5. So there's my range. Now, why did I get 154 and 153? Well, because it's in my range, the problems that I think we all have with stock boards or we're trying to order something custom or whatever is that we don't know which way to go on a little bit more flotation or liters or a little bit less. And then what are the benefits and the downsides to each? So we're gonna do that throughout the whole review and we're gonna talk about waves. I'll point out things that I see on the 5.4 that I like and things that I like about the 5.3. And hopefully this will help you guys make a decision when you go to get something stock in the Omni or the Cymatic. As we dive into the attributes of the Omni, I wanna first say this. If you follow the show, you know we recently did the Slater Design Cymatic. I had such a good time on this board, it was so fun that I thought, man, now I wanna ride the Omni and really see the difference. Because to the eye, they're very similar in shape, maybe except for the tail design on the Cymatic is completely different than the one here on the Omni, but they both have that blunt nose. And it took some time for me to get over it not having a pointy nose because I'm that traditional high-performance shortboard look kind of guy. And to be honest with you, after riding the Cymatic and having fun on it, it looked weird seeing it in the footage and I kind of just really had to adjust my attitude. And then I just really thought, man, look at the lines it's drawing. And, and that's what pulled me into wanting to learn a little bit more about what Tom O is all about and some of his designs. So if we look at the Omni, it's gonna look real similar to the Cymatic, right? So it's gonna have similar rocker, it's gonna have similar board size and widths. But for me, they rode completely different. So let's start first with a parallel outline. That just means it's really straight from like right here to right here. Before we dive into Tomo's concept and what he's doing on the Omni, let's first talk about a high performance shortboard that has maybe 5'9 pointed nose that's got a really straight rail line like this. It's gonna be really fast down the line and it's gonna have good edge control or be able to use your rails on like bottom turns and maybe projecting real well. But the struggle for me on boards like that is they don't wanna get in the lip real quick. So how does Tomo offset that with his parallel outline? He makes them shorter. And with it being 5'4", I have the rail line of like a 5'9", but I have the ability to get it in the pocket and do the turns I wanna do in smaller waves because it's 5.4. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is as we look at the tail back here, it's got a nice round tail. And what is a round tail in general gonna do for me, right? Well, a round tail is gonna have more surface area so I can get that lift and keep the board with some um, drive and nice and loose. And because it's a round tail, the water is adhering to curves the entire time. It might break a little bit back here at the center, but for the most part, this board is supposed to gain speed and hold speed through your turns. So now I wanna talk about the rocker in both the Omni and the Cymatic. Now, as I hold the board up here, let's look at it. We've got a medium entry rocker here. I know that this is continuous, and because it's continuous, it's gonna give us great traction. It's gonna need a wave with more curve. Now, this board can surf in that two to three foot range, but it wants that wave to be kind of steep. So I wouldn't call this a groveler, even though it has that blunt nose and we kind of think that, oh, 
blunt small boards are better for small waves. Not the case with this one, but let's look at the exit rocker. It's also got a medium exit rocker. And what's important about that is this board was designed to surf like a high performance shortboard. And I could feel the traction and the looseness and responsiveness of the board because of the continuous rocker. Now, if I'm at a surf shop and I'm looking at the Omni and the Cymatic side by side, they look very close to me in rocker, but I did get a chance to um, text the guys up at Firewire to find out if they have the exact same rocker. And from what I understand, Tomo said that the Omni has a little bit more entry rocker. So what is that gonna do? This board, the Omni is gonna want a, a wave that's a little bit rounder too. And where this board feels most at home is when you're surfing a hollow or a good pocket wave, that's when this board really shines. Now, if we're looking at the Cymatic, with a little less entry rocker, this is gonna be a little bit more like a daily driver, right? This is a high performance shortboard, get some hollow waves, maybe some barrels. This one's gonna be a little bit more user friendly, easier to surf, and it's also gonna be something that you'd probably grab more on a regular basis. Now I wanna look at the bottom contours. This is a modern plane hole. This is what Tomo calls a quad inside single concave. And it's pretty simple. What he's doing is he's running a single concave through the bottom and then about midway point in the center of the board, he's running a quad inside concave on the single. So what it looks like when I put a ruler here, it's, it's got the single and then halfway up, there's a quad concave inside that. So it's almost like double dipping. If it's, the single concave wasn't fast enough, he puts a quad inside of that. And it's pretty aggressive. As I move it to the back, you can really see how aggressive that is. Now, another thing I wanna mention is that it seems as though this is almost like a panel because the quad inside down the middle, this is like its own section right here. And as I, if I put it on this side and just this section, now we're running a single concave in through this panel. And the idea behind that is it's got this happening here. And so it's kind of cut the rail and that's really gonna give you the traction. Now, because of the round tail and the speed from the concaves on this modern plane old design, I'm getting a lot of speed. And what I like about these boards is that I'm getting the traction and the hold I'm looking for, whether I'm racing down the line and I wanna hit a big carve, or if I'm coming off the bottom and trying to set up a big turn, it's got the hold that I'm looking for. Now, the other thing I wanna mention that's a little different on the Omni compared to the Cymatic is on the Cymatic, since it has that double bat tail and it's wider, it's almost like it has four channels out the back that are more pronounced than I would say you would feel on the Omni with the round tail. Now, both boards are equally as fast. I feel like maybe the round tail has a little bit more hold and traction, so they both have a completely different feel, but the Omni felt good too. Now I wanna talk about the fins I chose in the FCS2 range. The waves were more four to six foot surf. It was a little bit bigger, so I started with a thruster. And I chose the Almeric fin large template because I'm looking for the depth on the large to give me a little bit more hold. I've got the sweep that I'm looking for, a lot of rake so I can really lay into some carves. And the performance core has a medium flex pattern, so it's stiff enough where I got control in my turns and I have confidence. Now, the other thing I like about the Almeric fin is because it has so much rake, I feel like it'll tighten the board up a little bit. Because I have a round tail and it feels loose and it's 5'4 and it's real short, I can turn it real fast already. So what I'm really looking for is control, especially in the bigger surf, and it felt great. I had that center fin to pivot off of, and at no time did it ever felt like I didn't have enough board or like it wasn't holding for me. It felt great. Now, as the waves jumped down to like that two to four foot surf, I wanted maybe a little bit more speed since this board has that continuous rocker. I'm trying to offset that with maybe a, um, the quad set that's gonna be a bit faster than the thruster. And I chose the performers with the performance core 
carbon fin because I'm gonna push really hard on this and I wanted a little bit more um, stability in the fin and this is also the same setup I ran in the Cymatic. So I'm really trying to compare the two and I wanted to keep it fair, but this fin has less rake, a little bit more upright so I can pivot it faster and that was another thing I was trying to do is I ran the medium performance core quad rears and what I was looking for with a more neutral fin is since I have a round tail, but by design, it wants to turn more round and carvy. I needed to change out of a fin that wants to carve and try and get something more upright to see if I could manipulate that tail to get this board vertical in the pocket a little bit faster. And to be honest with you, on the Omni, I really felt like that was one of the things this board struggled in. Now I'm just not talking about small surf, I'm talking about the design of the tail and the board wanting to go straight up in sections. I felt like it always wanted to come in like an angle and wanted to lay big carves. That's what I really felt the one of the major differences between the Omni and the Cymatic. Now I want to talk about the fins I ran in the Futures lineup. Since we're riding a 5.4 and a 5.3 and we're comparing what they look like, I kept the thruster set up the same. Same large Almeric template as the FCS2 range. And when I was surfing, I'd go out and surf, catch a few waves on the 5.4 in the bigger surf, then come in and switch. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if I can tell the difference in that one liter, right? It's a little bit narrower. It's a little bit quicker to turn. And you know what? They felt equally good. I never felt like I didn't have enough board even on the 5.3. And these fins felt just as good in this board as they did in the 5.4. Now, if we step into the two to four foot range if you guys remember right on the cymatic i ran the Jan the john john florence tech flex with the hayden shape quad rears this is a medium this is a bit more upright and this is a neutral fin that's going to feel and look a little bit more like the performers right so same thing trying to get this board to manipulate it get it in the pocket real quick and same issues boards fast felt great carving really quick down the line and when we look at the footage I actually like the way this board looks under my feet better as a quad than I do as a thruster, and I'm a thruster guy. Now I want to pick up the board and just look at what Tomo does in the front end. So 5.4, 26 liters. It's not real bulky up here. It's foiled out real nice. It's got a kind of a pinched rail, so apex of the rail is a little bit lower. Kind of like it, just like the cymatic, so you can get that that rail to bite and give you traction. And then the foil on the back here is nice and tapered down, so I can sink it quick. And one of the things that I want to mention is at 5.4, 26 liters, it didn't feel like I had an extra liter when I was paddling. So I'm out there in a crowd of 40, 50 guys battling for waves. The 5.4 paddled good. I didn't feel like it was bulky up here. Because it's not bulky with all the foam, it doesn't mess with swing weight. So going a little bit bigger on the 5.4 felt fine especially under my feet. Now, if we're gonna talk about the 5.3, it didn't feel like I was missing that liter of, of foam. I feel still felt like I could paddle just as good, but these are some of the questions we ask ourselves, should I go 5.4 or should I go 5.3, right? And I think that take the bigger one of the two and not worry about it feeling like too big of a board. And that's exactly how it felt under my feet. The 5.4 felt just as good as the 5.3. But I will say this, they don't look the same on video and we're gonna talk about that as we look at some waves together. Now before we look at some waves together, I want you to remember that the Omni has a little more entry rocker than the Cymatic does. And we're gonna see what it looks like when my feet are in position and what the board looks like to my eye when I'm surfing it, number one. But I think one of the most important things for me on the Omni is I mentioned it when, when I'm talking about fins that because it's a round tail and there's no break for the, there's no place to pivot off of, right? And there's no break as water adheres to curves. This board wants to surf more diagonal. It doesn't want to go vertical. Now I'm not saying it won't, I'm saying that it's very difficult for me to get it off the bottom, straight up into the pocket. I'm talking going 12 o'clock. I felt like there was a problem there for me because of the tail design, not because of the board design.
Now, the other thing I felt was different about the round tail compared to the cymatic is that as a thruster and quad, for me to get this board to do exactly what I wanted to, I had to have my foot right up over the third fin. And the further back I went, the more I could manipulate this board and get to do what I wanted. So I feel like this round tail really dictates or surfs better for someone who surfs off their back foot, right? Now, let's look at the cymatic. It has the flyer of the wing here, right? This acts as a pivot point. It causes a break in the, in the water sticking to the, to the rails here. So with that being said, if my foot's not all the way back, I feel like it's more forgiving. Right, Because this is a pivot point, if I'm turning from here, I'm still going to get pretty accurate turns. Now, this also, I felt, had that back foot orientation, but not as pronounced or as aggressive did it feel that way compared to the Omni. I still felt like I could get away with my foot moving around in here and getting pretty consistent or precise turns, right? Because we've also got a reduction in foam here too. So I really felt like the cymatic is very user friendly or easier to surf compared to the Omni when it came to doing turns. And I also felt because it has a break here in these spots that I could get this board vertical and a lot more playful. And because it has more surface area, I also felt like I could get it loose and a little bit more playful and kind of do a little bit more tail slides. And we're gonna see that in the footage as we talk about it together. So let's look at some waves together. This is a thruster on the 5.4, nice steep wave. Good rail-to-rail -rail turns, board felt great. Now this is a bigger wave, still a thruster here, able to come off the bottom and stick the turn with good spray there. Now this is a quad, it's a little bit smaller wave. I, you know what I like is I don't have to work hard for speed, just a little pump here and there, nice spray, another pump right there, able to finish this wave strong. Now this is a quad, a little bit smaller wave, Pretty good turn right there, getting a little bit of release on the fins, but now the board looks a little bit big to me. On the bigger surf, you see this nice thruster, board's holding real good, but right here I kind of get stuck at the top. I know wave goes flat, but I feel like it's the board's a little bit big when I look at it. And here, just a quad, couple good turns, felt good. So let's look at the 5.3. Now this is a quad setup. It looks like the board's kind of bogging a little bit. That's because my front foot is a little in front of the sweet spot. So that's one of the things. When you get a real short board, when you're not on the sweet spot, it really, it really shows you where you're off. But as I get more waves on this board, it's got a little extra spice to it. Like it can turn it faster. See, that was a good turn right there. Now this is a thruster, a little bit bigger wave. Watch the board just explode off this last section. See the pop right there? I couldn't get that out of the 5.4. I like these turns right here, just linking it together real nice. The steeper the wave, the better this board goes. Look at the speed here. Round tail holding its speed through that roundhouse real well. Now look at the board here. Quad, getting a little playful, boom. That's what it likes, steep sections. This turns good, but watch the projection right there. Yeah, the, the more I got used to this board as a quad, the more I liked it over the 5.4. So let's look at some waves on the cymatic together. This is a quad, nice and vertical. It just pivots real well with that break in the rail line on the wing. Look at the spray. I also feel like there's a lot of speed coming off this board because there's a little bit more surface area on the tail. This wave's a little overhead, nice and vertical. And then it's gaining speed on this roundhouse. Real solid underfoot. And I just love it. It just I felt like I could do whatever I wanted to do on this board. Look at the speed on that turn right there. This is smaller waves. Kind of easy to compare it to the Omni. That first turn was nice and vertical, but I really love it. Just set this turn up. Lots of spray with a lot of speed. Now I want to talk about the LFT construction. Performance-wise, it's very lively underfoot. I like it. It's not too light and it's not too heavy. And it's very durable. So on the scale of one to 10 for pressure dense, 10 being no pressure dense at all, I would say it falls into about an eight, eight and a half on both the 5.3 and the 5.4. Now to learn more about the LFT construction, head over to the Firewire website. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on the Slater Designs Omni. I highly recommend this for the intermediate all the way to the pro level in three to six foot plus surf, and it needs to be kind of punchy or have some power. 
Now, if you're trying to decide between the Omni and the Cymatic, I would say that this Omni feels a little bit more like a high, high performer shortboard and the Cymatic is more of a daily driver. This is a bit more user friendly. I feel like it goes faster in the smaller waves. It maybe needs less of a wave for it to perform well. And I just find it to be very easy to surf. A special shout out thanks to the folks at Slater Designs for sending these Omnis down for review. And the folks over at the Rip Curl Surf Center in San Clemente sent down this cymatic so we could break down tail design and have something to look at as we compare these two boards. Look, if you like the show, subscribe. You can also find us at surfandshow.com. That's it for now. Until next time, see you in the water. Bye-bye. What can I just see? I'm thinking about walking.